Hello everyone, welcome back to a new tutorial on LTSPICE and in this tutorial I will talk about how to use SPICE in general and LTSPICE in particular to generate a triangular waveform. So this is how a periodic triangular waveform looks like and it may start from some initial value say one level is negative negative three volt this is just an example and it is going to say some other level v2 which might be say 3 volt and this is the time period of this waveform and after which it is repeating so let's let's say this is 2 millisecond so if you wanted to generate this kind of waveform in a spice and in lt spice there is no specific command for doing that however we have access to something called the uh, a square pulse or periodic pulse and that we have talked about in our previous tutorials so uh, I will just go ahead and review this command here so in general a periodic pulse in a spice will look like this it has two levels of voltage V1 and V2 and in general it might start after a delay time of TD from the origin so this delay time here TD represents this time after which it starts rising up so that is TD the delay time and T on is the time uh, for which it will be high TR is that rise time how much time it takes to go from this level to this level so this this period here that's TR the rise time and then you have a fall time on the other side from here to here how much time it takes to go from high to low and then it will have a time period so after what time this waveform is repeating so uh, it goes from here to here and then again it starts the same thing so it's a periodic pulse and the way you describe this kind of pulse it might be a voltage or it might be a current uh, but the way you describe this is in general you start with the uh, keyboard pulse and then the initial voltage level and if it is a current so it might be i1 the initial current level and then V2 the uh, other current voltage level then TD the delay time the time after which it's, it starts rising he from here and if it starts rising right from here so that rise time of course sorry that delay time of course will be zero so this TD represents how uh, how much time it takes to start rising compared with this you know the origin and then T, uh, TR the rise time and then TF the fall time and then T on the high time of the waveform and then the period of the waveform so once we know how to represent a periodic uh, pulse in a spice it is easier for us to uh, use that to generate a triangular waveform and uh, I will illustrate that concept by using an example so suppose I have this waveform triangular waveform shown here and this is going from level v1 to v2 and this might be say negative 3 volt and 3 volt or any other thing and then it has rise time as you can see from here it is going from this point to this point in one millisecond so this represents that center of one millisecond from here to here so that's that one millisecond and similarly because it's a symmetrical so this represents here say two millisecond which is of course the time period of this waveform from here to here and then of course the fall time which will be from here to here is of course another one millisecond so one millisecond plus one millisecond is two millisecond which is the time period of this triangular waveform now how can we represent that using a pulse so what we will do is whenever whenever we encounter a triangular waveform what we do is we look here at the uh, sharp points or at this you know the intersection uh, transition points so what we do is we just give that you know some duration because at this moment like you know the time it takes to switch from like you know rising to uh, you know falling it is zero so what we do is we elongate or expand that period and provided that t on here so this 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 waveform is same as this provided that this t on is quite small compared especially to the rise time and fall time if 
this is say, say one millisecond and if this is one millisecond and if this happens to be like you know a fraction of one millisecond then this is as good as this one Right? So this is the strategy we use to uh, kind of approximate a pulse, uh, approximate a pulse to a triangular waveform. So uh, the basic idea is just to kind of, you know, let everything remain same. So this is the rise time, this is the fall time, this is the lower voltage level, this is the higher voltage level. The only thing that we are going to add is how much time uh, or the on period of uh, for which it is high. So if you go here, go back here, this was basically the T on how much for how long this waveform is high. So if we uh, consider that as T on and assume that this is quite small in our case, so it this waveform will be as good as this triangular waveform. So for this waveform, I can write you know pulse the lower voltage level V1, so it may be between negative three for example v2 positive 3 and td here is 0 why because it the waveform starts rising right here at the origin so the shift from origin as you you saw here the you know this is where it starts rising so that that was td so now because it is starting right here at the origin so there is no delay if compared to that origin so that td the time when it starts rising is right here at the origin so that will be zero then rise time going from here to here or here to here that's one millisecond and then fall time for this waveform so it will be like you know half of the time period that you have in general the rise and fall time so it's two millisecond is the period so half of that is one millisecond so one millisecond is the rise time another one millisecond is the fall time here and then i'm assuming at this time that i'm going to give this an expansion this region like this t on of like you know 0 0.01 so it's a 100 time smaller than the rise or rise or fall time and we will do we'll talk about that more in a bit and then the time period is two millisecond so this is how we represent uh, a triangular wave in a spice. Let's go ahead and uh, try to run a simulation based on that. So I will just double click and open the LT Spice uh, software and let's go ahead and click File, New Schematic or just click in here and you have this new schematic. Now let's grab a voltage source and fortunately in the new version of uh, new update of LT Spice 17, uh, we can just hit V button v for voltage so we can just hit the v button from the keyboard and we have that voltage source and while it is active i can press ctrl e to mirror it like that and press escape and then click here and put this here the ground ground must always be present in uh, in any spice uh, at least there must be one ground in your schematic and then let's call this node as trying uh, triang node. So this is where we are going to measure our voltage. Oop, try, triang. And let's go ahead, click it, connect everything. I assume that you have worked on LTS Spice and you have watched some other tutorial. Uh, so, and let's call this, this is the V1 represents this name of this voltage source. Right click on that one and change this to say, for example, V triang. It is not necessary, but just to, you know, make it look neat, that's all. So that's the triangular waveform source. And to generate a pulse, I will right click on this one. I will put my cursor here and right click on this one and go to advanced and click on pulse. And my initial value is say minus three volt the lower voltage higher voltage which is v2 so this represents v1 in our case and this v on represents v2 in our case so that's plus three t delay is zero rise time is one millisecond fall time is one millisecond and we have said that the t on is quite small 0 0.01 millisecond 100 times smaller than that and two millisecond is the period so press OK and let's go ahead and simulate this for say, uh, uh, so two millisecond is the time period. So one, one period is two millisecond. Now let's say two excursion of this, so maybe four millisecond. So uh, go to edit and spice analysis, or you can also hit, you know, if you, if you know the command, you can do it 
type in directly here, but I will go here in a spice in analysis and transient and the stop time is say four millisecond, twice the time period of this waveform so that we are able to see two cycles. And just hit run and uh, click on this node and here you go. So you can see here how I'm sorry, how this waveform triangular, it, we are able to use pulse command to generate a triangular waveform in a spice. It is going from negative three to positive three. One thing you might notice that it is not exactly, in fact, if I go ahead and try to uh, zoom in there, there, like, you know, you can see here it is off from this uh, two millisecond and the reason is of course because the delay is of course a fraction of this you know rise time if i try to make it like you know smaller so a smaller the t on here in our like you know in our example a smaller this t on the more better approximation of this will be you know this to this triangular waveform so i will go ahead and i will show you this by like you know maybe making it 0 0.001 and see what happens now so keep looking here at this uh, at this point and see what happens you see how this is this has shifted and now like you know it's very close to ideal triangular waveform so a smaller like you need not to make it too small like you know as far as like you know it looks nice and good triangular waveform that's okay for you so it's it's a it's you know just perhaps it's just uh, it should be close to the triangular wave that you are trying to make that's all don't try to you know make this too small the delay cannot be you know, arbitrarily small here in a spice, but this is in general how you use a spice or LTS spice to uh, generate a triangular waveform. So I hope that this has clarified um, or taught you something about there's something new about the LTS spice. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.